These are phenomenal. Couldn't agree more. Hi girls, what brings you to the studio so early? Well, we asked our Tic Tac Toy fans for some help with our toy line. And they had so many great ideas. Yeah, we were just so pumped that we had to get here early to start sketching. Wow, that's wonderful, girls. But before you show me anything, let me scan the room for hidden cameras. Are we still worried about the toy mama trying to sabotage our toy line? Well, she planted those hidden cameras in her last week, so we have to be extra cautious. Yeah, she can't see what we're working on for Tic Tac Toy. That would be bad news. <laughs> Now hiring, assistant position for XOXO Toy Company. Qualifications between the ages of 6 and 12. Toy expert, energetic and enthusiastic. Interviews today at 10 a.m. Toymakers XOXO Studio. Hmm. Now that the place is secure, tell me all about the help you got from your Tic Tac Toy fans. Did they come up with some new baby animal ideas for the collectibles? They sure did. We already came up with the Buddha and the unicorn. And through our poll, our fans told us they wanted to see a bunny, a piglet, a koala, and a kitty. Yeah, and we also decided to have this cute Frenchie and a bear cub. Plus, I added this cute kitty and a Pomeranian. Those are absolutely adorable girls. Plus, I have a couple sketches I've been working on myself. What are they? Sketches for Addy and my figures. You girls have to be part of the toy line yourself. Wow, no way! <laughs> Are we gonna have swappable wings too? Of course, all the figures will have swappable wings. So you can swap between the Piglet, the Addy, the Poodle, and well, all of them. Amazing! And speaking of wings, how are the sketches of them coming? Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, we've designed 36 different wings. Wow, that's just wonderful. Thanks for returning my call. XOXO Toy Company is hiring an assistant. I've sent you the details. We need it to be someone from our network. A spy who can report back to us. Who can give us all of the details for the new line of toys for Tic Tac Toy. I don't care who it is, but make sure someone is at XOXO Toy Maker Studio at 10 o'clock this morning. And do not let me down, Miss Grant 432. <laughs> What is that, boss? Well, it's time to move on to the next step in creating our line of toys for Tic Tac Toy. And for that, you're gonna need this Pantone book and a bunch of markers. Are we choosing colors for our figures? Sure are. It's time to turn these black and white sketches to color sketches. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun. When I think of Tic Tac Toy, I think of fun, bright colors. So we need to make sure our toys reflect that. Couldn't agree more. Now you girls have a bunch of markers, but I just use the Pantone book first to select the colors, and then use the markers to color in the sketches. Addie, let's start with this little piglet first. Ah, nice and refreshing. Thank you, sir. How's the lemonade stand business going? Not bad. I think I made about four dollars. Hmm, how old are you? Eight years old. Perfect. Hey, how would you like a real job? Chance to make some decent money. What kind of job exactly? A job at a toy company. Sounds like a dream come true. So what do you think about this shade of pink for the little piglet? I love it, but it also could be fun if we could have the pig be a crazy color. Kind of like, um, like this lime green color. That could be super fun. Well, I have an idea. What if each of these baby animals came in two colors to collect? We can have a pink piglet and a lime green piglet. Perfect! Okay, I'll color the pink piglet and you'll color the lime green piglet. Sounds like plan. This sure is fun picking colors for our toys. <gasps> oh no, you don't think that could be the toy vandal, do you? Oh no, no need to fret. I forgot to mention this, but I'm actually interviewing someone for an assistant position today. Really? An assistant to who? An assistant to you two. I think that creating your own toy line is probably a pretty big job and you could use some help. Wow, it would be nice to have an extra hand. 
Well, good then. I'll get the door and get the interview started. You two keep working. Thank you for coming in to interview for the assistant position of XOXO Toy Company. May I have each of your names, please? My name is Kira Carmichael. And I'm Ethan Ash. Welcome, Kira and Ethan. Here at XOXO Toy Company, we only employ the most extreme toy lovers. Oh, that's me for sure. Me too. Well, I'm afraid we only have one position available currently. And it will go to whichever of you can identify the most toys correctly. Using only your sense of touch. What? So what do you think of my Mayas? Aren't they adorable? Totally obsessed with them. Now what do you think of my Addies? So weird. So we've created the Piglets, the Addies, and the Mayas. What do you want to call her next? Um, how about this bear tub? It's awfully cute. Yeah, I'm thinking of a cool shade of purple for the bear. Maybe a yellow crown. Sounds adorable. I'm gonna look through the tar book to figure out mine. Okay, we'll play three rounds of what's in the box. Whoever correctly identifies the most toys using only their sense of touch will be our new XOXO toy assistant. Kira, you'll be up first. Okay, Kira, what's in the box? Oh, this is super easy. It's a fingerling. That's a one point for Kira. Yes. Okay, Ethan, it's your turn. What's in the box? Um, um. It's a Domi. You're correct, Ethan. One point for you. Woohoo! All right, time for round two. Kira, what's in the box? Hmm, reversible sequence. It must be a shimmies. And that's two points for Kira. I know a shimmies anywhere. Great job. Let's see if Ethan does as well. What's in the box? Hmm, it feels like a soda can. Oh, it opens. Oh, it's slimy. Yeah, definitely slimy. I'm getting a scent of orange. It must be orange soda slime. You're right, Ethan. You two are currently tied with two points each, and it's time to move on to the third round. We did, Addy. They're all colored. And I'd say that they look absolutely fabulous. Which one is your favorite? Oh, probably this one. I think the bow on her head is so cute. What's your favorite? It's a tough call, but I'd probably pick this one. I just love koalas. Yeah, that one turned out super cute. Well, what should we do now? It looks like Lucy's still interviewing the assistant. Well, you know how we decided that our surprise toy would come with putty and putty cutters? Yeah, so people could cut out on shapes for their baby animals. Well, why don't we start mixing up the putty and selecting the colors? Great idea. All right, since you two seem to know your toys pretty well, I'm stepping up the difficulty level for our final round. Kira, what's in the box? Okay, okay, um. Oh, it opens. This feels so familiar. What is it? I need a guess, Kira. Okay, um. Oh, yeah, kind of can of cutie. That's it for sure. Incredible. That's three points for Kira. Ethan, it's going to be your turn next. If you get this correct, we'll move on to a tiebreaker. If you get it incorrect, the job is Kira's. Okay, I'm feeling the pressure. What's in the box? Um, um, okay, I feel beads of some sort. It kind of feels like a bracelet. Geez, what could this be? You're running out of time, Ethan. Okay, um, um. I need an answer now, Ethan. Just about finished. And this batch is complete. Okay, let's check out the colors we have now, Addy. Well, we have two shades of pink, two shades of purple, a blue, and a white. They all look spectacular, but which ones should we use in our toy line? Well, it is our toy line, isn't it? Yeah. So we make the rules, right? Of course. Then let's use all six. I like that idea. Then it'll be more of a surprise anyway. Exactly, because we'll never know what color they're going to get. Now let's start working on the putty cutters. Fantastic idea. Ethan, I really need an answer. I don't know, maybe a super cool bracelet thingy? I 
I'm afraid it's a twisty pet, Ethan. Aw, oh, bummer. Kira, that means you are the newest member of the XOXO Toy Company. Yes, it's gonna be such an honor to work here. I won't let you down, I promise. The potty tarters and the bracelets look great. And so do all of the sketches and our puppy. Addie and Maya, I'd like to introduce you two to our newest assistant, Kira Carmichael. Nice, nice to meet you. you. OMG, I didn't know I was gonna work with you two. I'm a huge fan of Tic Tac Toys. Well, perfect, because we're gonna need your help with creating our own line of toys. This is such a dream job. Wow, it looks like you two have been quite productive. These look amazing, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Now that these colored sketches are complete, the next step is to create the prototypes. Proto what? Prototypes. We'll turn these two-dimensional sketches into three-dimensional figures. So exciting. <laughs> Kira, can you pop over to the next room and get our 3D printer up and running? Not a problem. Thanks, Kira. Okay, girls, it's time for some major decisions. Tell me you have some good news, Miss Green's 432. What do you mean our spy didn't get the job? Do you realize they could have asked any of our other 600 miscreants and they probably would have done better than you? Well, you better find a way to get me those color sketches. I need those toys for my personal collection. So what decisions do we have to make, boss? Well, we need to talk scale and materials. What size are you picturing these adorable figures to be? Hmm, I feel like a lot of collectible surprise toys are really small. Maybe even a bit too small. Well, we don't want them to be too big, or else your collection would take up too much space. True, I think they should fit in the palm of your hand. I like that idea, so maybe a couple inches tall. Let me take some notes here. Yeah, that sounds like the perfect size. And what about materials? I'm thinking plastic, so it would be nice and durable. Yeah, but maybe we can make the wings softer. Ooh, great idea, Maya, love it. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yes, Kira? But the 3D printer doesn't seem to be working. Oh no, that seems to be happening a lot lately. Well, there's a 3D printer just down the road. Would you mind dropping off these sketches for us? Not a problem, happy to help. Perfect, I'll put these all in the portfolio and attach the notes too. Now the important thing here is that no one, and I mean no one, sees these sketches. I'll take great care of them. You have nothing to worry about. Perfect. All the sketches are inside. Notes are attached. The address is on the envelope. Thank you very much. You know what? I have another idea, boss. What is it? What if we had baby animals that you could actually cuddle with? That's not a bad idea, Maya. Do you think we can actually make some into stuffed animals, Lucy? Yeah, that you could cuddle at bedtime. You know what? It's your toy line. Let's do it. So exciting, let's make them medium sized and so, so soft. And with big wings that can swap from one stuffed animal to another. And they should come with the accessories too. Love it, love it all girls. This toy line just keeps getting better and better by the moment. Is that a lemonade stand? Oh, it's you, sorry about the job. That's okay, I'm a lemonade stand boss. Cool, I'll take a glass of lemonade please. Great lemonade. Thanks, it's my grandma's recipe. Well, I better get going. I got a lot of work to do. Thanks for coming. Oh goodness, I almost forgot about these. That could have been terrible. Hello, Tic Tac Toy fans. We need your help, again. We've had so much fun creating our very own toy line. But now we need your help naming our favorite little friends. Yeah, this little collectible is my favorite one. What do you think we should name it? Go ahead and take the poll right now. I need help naming my baby animal friend too. What do you think its name should be? Go ahead and vote now. And we need your help coming up with a super cool name for our entire toy line. We have a few ideas. Which one is your favorite? Go ahead and vote now. We're counting on you guys to help us. Oh, and don't forget, that sneaky toy vandal cannot know what we're up to. Exactly. Shh, this is top secret. 